Hi, my name is Rohan Varma. I'm a freshman at Carnegie Mellon University, and this is my intro to programming term project. So, for my project, I created multiplayer asteroids. So, let's just go through what it would be like if you use the application for the first time. So, here are the instructions. So, in case you didn't know, asteroids is a game where you're basically a spaceship and you're getting bombarded by different asteroids and other things such as bad guys that shoot at you or alien ships. You have to shoot them with bullets. You can get power-ups such as invincibility, or if you get enough points, you can also get a super shooter, which allows you to shoot three bullets at once. In terms of the controls, there's basically two things you gotta know. To shoot, you have to use the space bar, and that'll shoot bullets. And to move around, you press up to go forward, and side and left and right to go left and right. Now, the main crux of this project is its multiplayer. Now, what this means is that it's actually a game which you can play on two separate computers over the internet. One with you're playing it, and one where your friend's playing it on the same application. Now, the way it works is that basically you each have three lives. If someone loses all three lives, the game is over, and you try to get the most points possible. Now, what you're about to see after this screen is basically what happens when you try and start two-player. You click on the two-player button, you enter a username, and then you go. You enter a lobby. Now, you're about to see two different screens. These are two different computers that are running the, the software over the internet. So basically, as you can see, both users are entering their names. Then they're put in this lobby where they both say that they're ready to play. Once both players say that they're ready to play, the game begins. So, what I'm going to show you in the next minute or so is just some basic gameplay. You should look out for the fact that there's a bar which allows you to get power-ups. There's also invincibility. Look for the bad guys shooting bullets at you. And the game gets harder and harder as you get more and more points. Also, as you can see, they're cooperative playing together. And every time you lose a life, the round ends, and you lose a life. When you lose all three, there's game over. But in terms of how I built this program to work over the internet, it's using a basic server client model. Basically, there's a server which is on my laptop, which would have to be on some external laptop to run, and that stores the entire game state on the server. Then each client communicates with the server and asks, what's the game state right now? Every few milliseconds. And then every time the user presses spacebar or presses the left and right arrow key, it sends a command to the server to change the game state. And because the game state is changed on the server, that change is the change that the user requested is reflected on both person's computers. So as you can see, it works pretty well. There is minor lag, but that mostly has to do with the band, the internet, not with bandwidth, but mostly latency, which is something that I can't really control. Um, as you can see here, the person is about to get the invincibility, which allows you to be invincible. So now this pretty much is about to wrap up the gameplay portion of my demonstration. As the user dies, as this person is about to die, the game ends, you see your score, and you ask if you want to play again. If you want to play again, then you go back to a lobby and you both have to say that you're ready to play in order to keep playing. You can always return back to the main menu and look at the instruction screen. If there's not two players in the lobby, you can't start the game. You go back, you enter your username, and you're ready to play again. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I had a lot of fun making this project, and thanks.